Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean. Glad you're here. Glad to be with you. Glad to hang out. Um, if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Uh, I try to get out as much content as I can every week. Um, from news on the Crypto Lunch Hour to reviews, interviews, uh, shows, either me or uh, me with some friends. We have a couple shows coming up. Um, hopefully a Drunken Crypto is coming up next week. Uh, it's always entertaining. Try to be informative, but always entertaining. Um, and please crush the like button, whether you're old subscriber, new subscriber, just passing through. Um, really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to go over the horny, yee, horny. Um, I don't like using the buzzwords that projects have, but it, this really isn't. Uh, an investment ecosystem. Um, it, it it's it's aiming to do a lot. Um, if it can pull off some of the things that it's that's, that it's trying to do, it's going to be a game changer um, for new traders um, as well as seasoned. Let's jump into it and head over to the website. Um, so it's well, it's a, a trading platform. Um, it, it combines decks, but it also is, a, I would say, like an academy um, for learning. But they have done something really cool, which uh, Coinbase has done and some uh, some other platforms. They reward you with their token for, for learning, so you can earn while you learn. Um, their token is pretty cool. I'm going to go into the tokenomics of it in a little bit. It is a, a real utility token because it's used to, uh, you know, pay for things, but also to access uh, a lot of the AI features. The AI in this is like nothing I've ever seen. Um, it really kind of makes you think about uh, other AI, that it's really not AI. It's just uh, like an algorithmic uh, computation. Um, it's not really artificial. This, this actually does put elements of, uh, of intelligence um, and machine learning into their back end on their AI. So it's pretty cool. All right. So let's go over it. Um, I'll, I'll hit the one pager in a little bit, but uh, I'll read through and then tell you a little bit about, about what you do. Um, it's the first investment education ecosystem for cryptocurrency traders, like I said. Um, so there's a bunch of wide variety of lessons to expand your knowledge. But also before you start, um, it gives you like a like a quiz or, uh, you know, to find out more about you. So it tailor makes the, uh, the education, uh, like the lesson plan for you, like, um, like match.com or whatever that is. So, you, you know, you can connect with people that, that, that you're, you're best suited for it. It's kind of like that, which that's actually an AI, which does that. So that kind of makes sense. So why do I lessons aimed at expanding your knowledge? Uh, they're all available for free. Um, you choose from various categories based on your preferences. You complete the lessons, you solve quizzes, and then you unlock DHN tokens as a reward. So you actually earn tokens, which you can use future. This also is an upcoming ICO, um, which if you sign ups like now, I think you get like an extra 66% of the tokens. Um, now, this is a long term project. This is brand new, it's just coming out. Um, I'll go over the roadmap. But like I said, they're what they're gonna do is really big. Um, so this is a this isn't like you know up next week. This is a long term project. Um, earn while you learn. Various lessons, info, graphics, podcasts, blah blah blah. And the lessons follow a specific structure and build uh, complex concepts over time. Now you can set up these bots. What I say customizable, it's it's. Like, you really have to look through this and do your own research. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad. You should do your own research and check this out. But the the customizability of this, it's very, very broad. It's not like a, a, any kind of bot that I've ever seen or worked with. Um, like, you can set future buys. Um, and this is where the AI differentiates, I think, from a, what people think AI is, where it's really just an algorithmic uh, computation of, hey, when this uh, 
when the market does this or when these patterns happen, then we should trade this. That's not really AI. That's just really computation. Um, this is something like, uh, like bringing machine learning or what I would call like fundamental analysis into a bot, which is, that's what I'm talking about. Hasn't been done before. Um, like, uh, like the bot would know, Oh, uh, a Binance listing is coming up. That's going to change these numbers. It, and it can, it can, it can, it can put that into its analysis and into its strategy that a Binance listing is going to affect drastically the, uh, the pattern, which that that's what like a real AI bot would do. And that's what this is, uh, this is going to do, but also you can set like any of your, uh, coins or projects you're following to automatically set buys at certain times. Like if a, a Coinbase listing is coming up or if a Binance listing is coming up, you can set those, uh, those executable trades really, really broad when it comes to customizability. Um, the lessons for specific structure and build complex constructs over time, test your knowledge, and then you get your earn. Okay. A uh, sophisticated onboarding system for the evaluation of the investor. And now this is where I think it's kind of cool because this is really amazing for, you know, seasoned traders to use this level of customizability and to actually use a bot that I've always found and any anyone that trades that I know I've found that bots are always good in a sideways market, in a bull market, but whenever it's thrown a curveball, they can't handle it. It's because it's not really an artificial intelligent. It needs the person. Um, so this sophisticated onboarding system, I think that this is really good for noobs because you're coming in and you're learning for free, plus you're earning the coin, and then you're on the platform. So what platform are you going to use? The one you're already on. Um, now I'm looking at it as far as... Uh, as far as the opportunity with the with, the, with their token, um, because I think it is a really good onboarding process for future uh, customers. So you complete the questionnaire, personalize the lessons and advice. Their AI will determine your investor profile and help you reach your investment goals. You can explore all of their strategies and become a full fledged trader. So, I, like I said, I think this is a a great onboarding process for bringing in and retaining new customers, not just having signups, but actually building a customer base and people that are gonna stick with it and then utilize the utility of the token. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Financial aid. So a comprehensive uh, trading module with market insight signals and portfolio management. So you can, I mean, you can use this manually and then, you know, customize your bot and, and program it and use the, Use it for trades. You can watch the market move in real time. Add tokens to your watch list. Have them displayed on top. You can set up push notifications for changes. Like I said, it's really, really customizable. Um, <clears throat> Full-fledged DeFi for swapping multiple cryptocurrencies. You can convert tokens. Use liquidity, a trading platform, much more. Um, and you can contribute to, to, uh, to liquidity pools and get, you know, uh, earn. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, in the advanced automated trading and analysis, which is what I've been touching on with AI, you can create um, automations that are executed by the bots like a future uh, exchange listing, um, a mainnet launch, any kind of, uh, you know, goals or, or landmarks in whatever that project is you can set up in here. You can be the first to move on the market, minimize slippage. Um, you can have comprehensive dashboard with all ongoing automations of performance. Basically, it's going to put everything at your fingertips and it looks very clean. Um, so you can register with the ICO for the ICO here. So the, the Horny token. Um, DHN tokens are the key to access different artificial intelligence modules. So you have to pay for that with the DHN tokens, therefore creating a use case. Uh, DHN uh, tokens are used to pay for algorithm trades and fees. Another reason to have it. Um, DHN tokens can be st uh, staked to participate in the network fee. So you can, you know, 
earn. Um, very, very, also it's gonna, if, if your people are staking them, that takes them out of circulation basically. Uh, so there's less to be used to pay for the utility, which brings scarcity. Once again, raises the price. Um, so the token distribution looks good. 70% is going for the sale. Team has 10% and then 20% is in reserves. Whatever reserves are, that's a little vague. Um, <clears throat> now the funds, 50% of development, which should be huge because it's a lot of development and that's going to be a massive cost. Having worked with, uh, you know, building an exchange, developers are the, the biggest cost by far um, and they're not cheap. So that needs to be huge. Legal 10, which there's a lot of legal stuff with, uh, especially with, with what's happening with regulators now. And then marketing is 30%, which I think is good. I think is, I think is fair. 35% um, would be really good. And then 10% to more reserves. So the roadmap, like I said, this is not, uh, you know, you may think this looks, this looks really drawn out and slow. But like I said, having worked on building exchanges um, and anything to do with AI, this to me, when I look at this, is real. So uh, next month, the development begins with community-led initiatives. And then October, the initial features development on the testnet. And then December, community access to educational and insight features with the learning. So then February next year, their beta launch. April of 2022, uh, focused on trading features and the testnet uh, version two. So that's October. That's six months from testnet one to testnet two. And then in September of 2022, the mainnet launch, the DEX and all the automated trading features are added. Um, so that's basically you're looking at about what 18 19 months that's not that's still quick for everything they're, they aim to do team big team looks solid i look through everybody <clears throat> um nothing really stands out this is the uh, the founder in chief looks really young but he's like a uh, you can see here um it's got everything on here who was it? The number two fellow. No, that's this guy. He has uh, Dorney, but it's a little different. This is, the team's mainly made up of uh, German folks. Um, everyone looks looks good on the team. Um, this guy here doesn't have anything connecting him with the project, which is a little bit off. He does. Uh, he does. Is a he's a big real estate uh, guy. Um, <clears throat> with uh, this guy does to all. Everyone looks looks fine except this guy didn't have anything connecting him to the uh, to the project, which I thought was a little bit a little bit odd. That's him here. Plug and play smart uh, smart cities. Is that was that this guy? Yeah, the chief operating officer. Um, <clears throat> I did look up the the plug and play smart cities. I mean, it's a uh, it's big. It's, it's big in tech. Um, so he looks like a solid individual, but there's nothing showing that he's connected to the project. So that is something I think that he should fix. Um, so with all this development, I would like to see more developers here. However, the core developer. Um, does have, I believe, where is it? Yeah, he does have uh, Dorney on here, but there's not a lot of information on what he's done. Also, there's not his education is not here. Um, he is does have it on as a core developer. Not much of a background that I can see. Um, and also don't know where he went to school at, so that's not on here. Um, but everyone else, I mean, it looks it looks fine the team looks good the the, the, the leaders look very very gung-ho and they have a a decent uh decent background um 
I think I've hit on pretty much everything. They have a one pager. They have a uh, white pay, uh, white paper you can read over. Um, so that is it. I think it looks really, really promising. I don't think that this is a. I mean, this is this is this is, this is brand new. This is, this is registering for the ICO. So uh, if you can take part in it, uh, click here to register. I'll leave links to the uh, to the website. They're based out of Switzerland. Um, so they're kind of the uh, you know, the cradle of all finance. Um, but the team looks 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 decent. The project looks really, really, uh, really huge and very, very ambitious. Um, I'm blown away by the uh, by the level of uh, customization, and it's it's real AI in trading, which is it's still hard for me to wrap my head around that that uh you know it's almost like having a partner to uh, to trade with. Um, that's kind of looking out for you and looking out in the market. So looks really promising. Uh, if you have any questions, um, head over to their uh, social media outlets. They've got uh, you know Telegram, Twitter, all that. Um, or hit me in a comment below. That's about it for Dorney. It was good hanging out with y'all. I am Satoshi Shaw, and I'll see y'all in the next video.